Greetings to everybody who tuned in today to my video. And I'm actually going to take us back to biblical basics. And this is, are you living a wise or unwise life? And so I know at times when we get so focused and caught up in what society and our peers are doing, we tend to follow them and forget to ask God which way he wants us to go and not the way everyone else is going. And so this is one way that the enemy uh, distracts us um, and he distracts us away from following God's will for, for our lives. So we are definitely at the days where our values are so conscrewed and uh, Satan, or we may say society as well, wants humans to focus on money, possessions, and stature. So that is everything opposite from what God wants us to focus on. And that is to seek him before man for direction in our lives. So remember, Jesus did say, whoever is first in the kingdom will be last on earth. And that is such, such a very, very strong uh, passage because this is this ties into living amongst our peers in society. So um, when you are consulting with man before God on a job or on a relationship or the overall direction for your life, that is just truly unwise. So you definitely want to seek the Lord above all um, for any decisions that will make a huge impact in your life. And so there's always going to be an answer and it's always going to be yes or no. So to have godly wisdom is definitely one of God's gifts that he provides to us. And so living without God's wisdom can definitely cost us greatly in life. And I remember before I found Jesus Christ in my life, I, I can definitely uh, relate to uh, worldly wisdom um, versus godly wisdom. And so um, I won't get in so deep about uh, my choices just yet and the decisions I've made. I can probably sit here for hours and, and tell you all the choices and decisions I've made off my ho own haste decisions, which always led to regret in my life. But um, so definitely um, seeking God for his his godly wisdom is the way to go about life and to live on earth um, until that day Jesus Christ will come and take us back to the kingdom and so a godly wisdom is doing things in God's viewpoint and to know his viewpoint and we can start by reading the book of instructions which is his word the Bible and it is definitely foolish to live without seeking God for his wisdom. God is omnipotent, omnipotent, uh, omni, um, omnipotent. I'm so, uh, it's so hard for me to pronounce that word. And I'll tell you this, um, I, before I started doing my videos, I came from a place where I had a huge uh, fear of public speaking, but Glory be to God, I'm sitting in front of you uh, doing what I thought I could never do. And like I mentioned, all glory to God. So um, uh, God is all knowing and he knows all things before, during and after. So God will never say to you, I forgot or I did not know or I made a mistake. He is perfect and he is all knowing. He is um, omnipotent, so he is all powerful and he is the living God who created all things, including you and I. And he is omnipresent, which means he is always in the midst of all things that we are doing at all times. He never sleeps nor slumbers. So it will be completely foolish to live without God. And um, we essentially have two choices, and that is to live with or without God to make that wise or unwise decision to choose God or Satan to live eternal life or um, I can say the most tragic thing and unwise thing we can do is to live without Christ and to die without him. So um, living on earth, uh, being a child of God, you will become spiritually enriched when you live for Christ. And that is to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness 
um, and all these things will be added to you, just as Matthew chapter 633 says. And so I did create this video not to offend anybody or, and, and this is definitely just to speak on the truth of God's word. And I feel that right now uh, with everything going around in our nations, we are getting distracted on um, just the biblical basics and this is one of them and that is to seek god to seek god for his decisions um on i'm sorry to seek god for his his wisdom on making decisions um that will be impactful and um essentially will will determine uh the path that we take in our lives and so um i'm going to go ahead and um, share first corinthians chapter 3 verses 19 through 23 for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. So for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. So that is seeking worldly wisdom over godly wisdom. He catches the wise in their own craftiness. And the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise and they are futile. So therefore let no one boast in men for all things are yours whether Paul or Apollos, Cephas or things present or things to come, they're all yours. And you are Christ and Christ is God's. And this is just beautiful um, to know that we are Christ and Christ is God's. We are his children. So we have the living God dwelling within us. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. And so one more um, scripture uh that i'll leave you with is coming from james chapter 3 verses 13 through 15 who is wise and understanding among you let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom but if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts do not boast and lie against the truth this wisdom does not descend from above but it is earthly sensual demonic and you may be faced with these decisions um, in your workforce, in your relationships, with your peers around you. And you always want to remember that you want to seek the Lord for his, his wisdom, not man for their wisdom. That is worldly wisdom. You always want to seek God for his wisdom in every decision you make. And the great thing about the Lord is when you do seek him, he will guide you step by step. Just because we may not understand fully the Lord's uh, will for our lives and why his will is the way his will is for our lives. It does not mean that we may disobey because we can't understand. So I just want to leave you with this. Um, and I hope that this message did reach somebody today and did encourage you to seek the Lord above all else. Thank you so much for tuning in.